Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is PCI DSS. Uh, friend, uh, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in the uh, payment card industry or FinTech industry. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well, so that my new videos can reach to you. And also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend. Uh, PCI DSS is basically Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards uh, is a set of requirements intended to ensure that all companies that process, store or transmit credit card information maintain a secure environment. It was launched on September 7, 2006 to manage PCI security standards and improve account security throughout the transaction process. An independent body created by Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover and JCB, the PCI Security Standards Council PCI SSC administer and manage the PCI DSS. Interestingly, the payment brands and acquirers are responsible for enforcing compliance rather than PCI SSC. An overview of PCI SSC data security standards are basically in an effort to enhance payment card data security. The PCI Security Standards Council SSC provides comprehensive standards and supporting materials which include specification frameworks, tools, measurements and support resources to help organizations ensure the security of cardholder information at all times. The PCI DSS is the uh, basically uh, of counsel as it provides the necessary framework for developing a complete payment card data security process that encompasses pre prevention, deduction and appropriate reaction to security incidents. The tools and resources available for uh, PCI SSC self-assessment questionnaires to assist organizations in validating their PCI DSS compliance, PIN transaction security PTS requirements for device vendors and manufacturers and a list of approved PIN transaction devices, payment application data security standards PADSS and a list of validated payment applications to help software vendors and others develop secure payment applications. There are 12 requirements for PCI DSS compliance. First one is use and maintain firewalls. Firewalls essentially block access of foreign or unknown ent entities attempting to access private data. These prevention systems are often the first line of uh, defense against hackers, malicious or otherwise. Firewalls are required for PCI DSS compliance because of their effectiveness in preventing unauthorized access. Proper password protections. Uh, routers, modems, point of sale, POS systems and other third party products often come with generic passwords and security measures easily accessed by the public. Too often uh, business fail uh, to secure these uh, vulnerabilities. Ensuring compliance in this area includes keeping a list of all devices and software which require a password or other security to access. In addition to a device password inventory, basic precautions and configurations should also be enacted. Protect cardholder data. The third requirement of PCI DSS compliance is a two-fold protection of cardholder data. Card data must be encrypted with certain algorithms. These algorithms are put into place with encryption keys which are also required to be encrypted for compliance. Regular maintenance and scanning of primary account numbers PAN, are needed to ensure no encrypted data exists. Then encrypt transmitted data. Cardholder data is 
sent across multiple ordinary channels, payment processors, home office from local stores, this data must be encrypted whenever it is set, sent to these known locations. Account numbers should also never be sent to locations that are unknown. Use and maintain antivirus. Installing antivirus software is a good practice outside of PCI DSS compliance. However, antivirus software is required for all devices that interact with and or store pen. This software should be regularly patched and updated. Your POS provider should also employ antivirus measures where it cannot be directly installed. Properly updated software, uh, firewalls and antivirus software will require updates often. It is also a good idea to update every piece of software in a business. Most software products will include security measures such as patches to address recently discovered vulnerabilities in their updates which add another level of production. These updates are especially required for all software on devices that interact with or store cardholder data. Restrict data access. Cardholder data is required to be strictly need to know all staff executives and third parties who do not need access to this data should not have it. The roles that do need sensitive data should be well documented and regularly updated as required by PCI DSS. Unique IDs for access. Individuals who do have access uh, to cardholder data should have individual credentials and identification for access. For instance, there should not be a single login to the encrypted data with multiple employees knowing the username and password. Unique IDs creates less vulnerability and a quicker response time in the event data is compromised. Restrict physical access. Any cardholder data must be physically kept in a secure location. Both data that is physically written or typed and data that is digitally kept, for example on a hard drive, should be locked in a secure room, drawer or cabinet. Not only should access be limited, but any time the sensitive data is accessed, it should be kept in a lock to remain compliant. Create and maintain access logs. All activity dealing with cardholder data and primary account number span require a log entry. Perhaps the most common non-compliance issue is a lack of proper record keeping and documentation when it comes to accessing sensitive data. Compliance requires documenting how data flows into your organization and the number of time access is needed. Software products to log access are also needed to ensure accuracy. Scan and test for vulnerabilities. All uh, 10 of the previous compliance standards involve several software products, physical locations and likely a few employees. There are many things that can uh, malfunction, go out of date or suffer from human error. These threats can be limited by fulfilling the PCI DSS requirement for regular scans and vulnerability testing. Document policies. Inventory of equipment, software and employees that have access will need to be documented for compliance. The logs of accessing cardholder data will also require documentation how information flows into your company, where it is stored and how it is used after the point of sale will also all need to be documented. Now uh, we shall discuss about the benefits of PCI DSS. Friend, complying with PCI security standards seems like a, a difficult task at the very least. The maze of standards and issues seems like a lot to handle for large organizations. 
let alone smaller companies. Yet uh, compliance is becoming more important and may not be a troublesome as you assume especially if you have the right tools. According to PCI SSC there are major benefits of compliance especially considering that failure to comply may result in a serious and a long term consequences. For example, PCI compliance means that your system are secure and your customers can trust you with their sensitive payment card information. Trust leads to customer confidence and repeat customers. PCI compliance improve your reputation which acquirers and payment brands just the parties your business needs. PCI compliance is an ongoing process that aids in preventing security breaches and payment card data theft in the present and in the future. PCI compliance means you are contributing to a global payment card data security solution. As you try to meet PCI compliance, you are better prepared to comply with additional regulations such as HIP, AA, SOX and others. PCI compliance contributes to corporate security strategies. PCI compliance like lead to improving IT infrastructure efficiency. Difficulties are also there. PCI SSC also point to potentially uh, disastrous result of failing to meet PCI compliance. After working to build your brand and secure customers, don't take a chance with their sensitive information. By meeting PCI compliance, you are protecting your customers so they can continue to be your customers. Possible results of PCI non-compliance include compri compromised data that negatively impacts consumers, merchants and financial institution, severely damaging your reputation and your ability to conduct business effectively not just today but into the future. Account data breaches that can lead to catastrophic loss of sales, relationships and community standing plus public companies often see depressed share price as a result of account data breaches. Lawsuits, insurance claims, cancelled accounts, payment card issuer fines and government fines are also there. So, PCI compliance as with other regulatory requirement can pose challenges to organizations that are not prepared to deal with protecting critical information, but protecting data is a much more manageable task with the right software and services. So, choose a data loss prevention software that accurately classifies data and uses it appropriately so you can rest more easily knowing that your cardholder data is secure. So uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot uh, for watching the video I hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends.